Hi there and thanks for joining this video as we just go through a quick uh, setting, uh, a quick run through of how to set the DNS servers on a Real Presence Trio 8800. Uh, what you'll commonly find, especially like at the moment you'll notice this one's got time of date out of sync, uh, if you're using uh, full domain names uh, to be able to um, find things like your time server and of course if you're trying to sign into things like Skype for Business, um, you'll need DNS server in there in order for it to be able to run. Um, so if your DHCP doesn't define a DNS by default, then you just need to go in and automatically set up that in order for the unit to be able to run. So what you're going to do is quickly go in there and just make sure that uh, those are correctly set. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings and then we're going to go into advanced 456 if it's the default password. If not, you really need to get the um, new password or reset it as shown in the uh, factory defaults reset video that I had earlier. Go into admin settings network configuration and down here we'll notice that we've got a DNS servers. So what I would do is under my DNS server in here I would put in a DNS entry so we'll just put in the standard Google one just their uh, their primary one there we go uh, and you'll notice here my SNTC server is time.nist.gov so what should happen is as soon as I save this and it reboots hopefully the system should uh, pick up a DNS server and we should see that the time and date come up correctly as well which means that uh, we know it's running here we go, phone is now rebooting, come up, if we just give it a moment hopefully we should see the, uh, the, the, the correct time come up and then we know that those, uh, those settings are working correctly and indeed if those are actually working correctly there's a good chance it will go ahead and actually sign into uh, uh, Skype for Business as well. Right so we're back up on the screen just waiting, hopefully any moment now we should see that, uh, that attempt to sign in or the, the, the time to come up, it does take a little while just to uh, register, there we go. So that's come up correctly and now it'll attempt to connect to Skype for Business and uh, we should be good to go. So we'll just wait for a moment, hopefully we'll see that occur. And the way that we'll notice is a little icon at the bottom here, we'll see that go to a live icon. Oops, uh, we'll see that go to a live icon with a little presence indicator, there we go. We now have recent call lists and everything like that. So we now know that that's registered to Skype for Business and it's good to go. So there we go, that's how to set up DNS servers on a Trio 8800. Hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you.